and welcome back to my channel and for everybody who's new here I'm so happy that you made it on my channel my name is Vanessa I'm 24 years old and I do makeup as a hobby on YouTube and Instagram Instagram TikTok follow me up here it's a really fun time thank you so much for watching yeah I'm feeling yellow today so mm -hmm. new piercing as well do you like it <laughs> some amazing nails I'm obsessed with how they look. Um, I'm gonna get a little bit closer. I did them myself. I mean, it's not the best work, but I'm pretty much practicing. Comment down below. Do you like them? Do you love them? I like them. And yeah, let's just dive right into the video. Yeah. So, guess what I have here? Take me back to Brazil palette. I was hating on this palette so much. Um, I'm gonna open it one more time. It is like a 20 euro palette, it's very inexpensive. But when I bought this palette, I didn't have the best brushes to use it with. So I just really hated the palette. Like I really, and I thought it was the palette, I thought it was the formula. Mm -hmm. My little lady is sitting right next to me eating some snacks and i have new brushes i want to try out this palette one more time i want to give it a fair chance i'm going to use the p louise ibis in the rumor number zero like i always do um i always carve out my brows with the um, number three so that if i go up to my brows i have an eyeshadow base right there using this fluffy brush and then I'm just gonna press in the product on both sides. Um, yeah, how's everybody? I hope my last video wasn't like too throw off for some people because I don't usually make videos like that based on the fact that I don't really like um, talking about other people like that. I didn't talk bad about the person I was just critiquing because like I said, I was a former subscriber and um, I just seen like quickly the change into the videos and the content. So yeah, it wasn't like some cloud chasing thing because I didn't expect people to actually follow me off of it because I said in the video before, like in the beginning that I usually do makeup and that's pretty much it. I don't really discuss a lot of things. Maybe Netflix shows. The first brush I'm going to use is this brush right here. It is a BH Cosmetics 103 brush. It is, mm -hmm. it is pretty soft. And I do want to go ahead and dip into the first shade, which would be the yellow shade right here. I'm going to pick it up and I'm just going to work this in my inner corner. Just like so. I do have to say that yellow always worked well with a white base or without it didn't really matter so I don't I do know that these colors work because I have used them before like I have used this palette quite a lot trying to film but I just could never really blend the colors the way how I wanted to because I have colorful palettes that I can blend way better like with blending brushes so the next uh, color I want to use is here, the green, the green color right here. Oops. I would definitely try to film another video where I'm using the colors um, and you do a cut crease. If you're interested in that, just, you know, give me thumbs up. Nine. Nine? Or yeah? Huh? It's like my mama. Mama. Yeah. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mama. I love my child so much. <laughs> like I just love her so much. It's crazy. Alright, so this is how how it's looking so far. I feel like those two colors blend pretty nice. Should I yeah, I should put on some light. It looks better. Um, I will link down the mirror that I have because it has like it's a mirror with lights on the side and then I have like Magnifying sides on the right and on the left just the regular really like this mirror so and it was inexpensive like 24 euros I think and you can even put batteries inside and like just take it with you and use it 
wherever so that's cool too i'm gonna go ahead and use this purple shade right at purple turquoise dark green turquoise shade and now you can see how some colors are just better pigmented than the others and i always used to have an issue with that because they're just it's just different pigmentation and i just i don't really like that in palettes because i would want every single pigment eyeshadow to have like the same pigmentation but so far i'm literally loving this look go ahead and use the blue shade right here and i'm trying to get like a shape because i want to kind of like shape how my crease is and then maybe extend it out a little bit i have a very good eyebrow today like i love my eyebrows today i don't know why it didn't even take me so long i feel like the less effort i put in the more like the better they look so yeah i feel like if you buy like one of the brush sets that are on the bh cosmetic side as in the eye essentials brush set or the smoky eye i don't know those are really good and i feel like they work very well with the palette i'm still on one brush and they really pick up the pigment especially this one picks up the pigment so well but so far what do you think do you like it do you love it I like it like I really do like it all right so I want to go ahead and deepen up um, with this color right here and I want to still follow just like so I feel like I didn't even do such a bad job because I'm still going to let me switch the color real quick dip back into the light blue that I have used before this color right here and just yeah get this like a little bit higher not too much higher switching off to my jessup 230 looks pencil brush i really love these i feel like they're really good for blending the shadows so now i'm gonna blend the edges because this looks like really harsh and i feel like it would be very nice if i were go to go into my first lighter shade right here it is like a yeah just a lighter the lightest yellow pretty much in the palette and i'm gonna use this tap of the axis and now i'm just gonna start blending the edge and with the blue i'm actually just gonna dip back into the same blue and for the turquoise i'm literally gonna go back into the same turquoise color just a little bit tap of the axis and just go like slightly on top just like so so then this is how it looks now cleaning off my brush and I, th and I thought i would use and i thought i would use the same color right here the light yellow shade and now i'm just gonna go on the whole edge and just slightly blend that so it's softer and now i feel like it would be very good to blend the edges so i'm gonna go ahead with and now i'm gonna work from dark to light so i'm gonna go ahead with this blue shade right here tap off the excess and blend this corner i don't know if you see if that did something but i can see that it did something all right so this is how it looks and now i'm just going to repeat the process off camera and then i will come back all right so i'm back and this is where we are at for some reason the color switch didn't really work in the inner corner and now i just can't really change that so i'm just going to leave it like that instead of adjusting it i hope that's okay and now i'm just going to clean up the edges for that i like to use some makeup remover in liquid form this is really off brand i don't even know pull a line just like so and then i use the um dry side to actually really clean this up and make it like super sharp let's move on to primer because we're not going to do anything with the under eye like nothing i just want to focus on the lid so yeah i'm going to use the revolution pro hydrate prime and hydrate primer 
I talked about this on a new products video that I have posted. I can link it if you want to, if you're interested in that. And uh, look at my nails. I love these. And it didn't even take me long to do them because I do acrylics by myself anyway. And then I have to wait till like the product actually sinks in because it is like a moisturizer and primer in one. Since we are with BH Cosmetics, I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics Studio Pro number no. four brush. I really like this. It is like, you know, you can stipple. And for foundation, I'm going to use a new favorite of mine. I had to order this foundation online. It just, it has the nicest finish. It is so sad and I like that you can apply the foundation straight obviously don't share this with somebody else this is like the only foundation like i'm i'm the only one who's using my foundation so i can actually put this right on my face um, i'm gonna go in with my mac fix plus i haven't used this in a very long time i'm kind of running out fix plus it's the coconut one shake it up and just hold on i'm gonna open it first this finish is crazy this is a six euro seven or six and a half euros foundation and the finish is unreal like i really love this foundation it's even almost nicer with the brush than <clears throat> I love this foundation so much and it's like a satin matte and I don't ever go for matte foundations because I like doing this but this and do you see how it blended in and how it actually like matches like when you look at that like it really just blends right into my neck and I haven't put anything on my nose yet that's because it's gonna yeah it's just a different thing with my nose all right I'm putting some on my hand picking it up with the brush and now I'm just gonna slightly work it in yeah I just tapped on my nose and I feel like with this brush I have like so much control on how much goes like into the side of my nose on the wings of my nose all right so I'm pretty happy with how this face looks like I don't really want to do a lot on my face I'm actually only going to I want to be like a little bit luminous so I'm going to use the Revolution Pro Skin Finish in the shade Radiant. How this is making like the skin look. It gives you like that wet look and you're very like luminous. I'm going to go and use a press powder from Makeup Revolution. This is actually one of the new launches. It is the CC Perfecting Press Powder in the shade Warm Golden. And I really, I never used pressed powders before, but I really enjoy this like a lot. Going to use the Essence Camouflage Concealer in the shade Warm Toast. I really love the formula. It's very like creamy, but not too creamy. And this is literally all I'm gonna do. I'm not even gonna highlight because I don't really feel like doing that. I want to use the Catrice Illusion, Glow Illusion setting, um, setting powder because I just love the finish off of it. Haven't used it in a long time. I'm picking it up, then I'm putting it on my hand to make it even, and then I'm just gonna press it in like so. Just like I'm being very like tack 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 like really fast because I don't really want to use too much powder. And then I just go ahead and wipe this off with a powder brush. I love this powder so much. All right, let me put on the light. Let me go closer. I hope you can see. I really hope you can see. So I haven't used my African Earth Bronzer in a very long time because I love this Revolution one which I would have never thought. It's the Sculpting Bronzer in the shade and Rope. I think it's like almost the second lightest, the second darkest shade. They have one darker after this one. I'm using this powder brush right here. I'm really going lightly like two times and I'm telling you, it's just gonna do like the job. Um, one more time. And I just wanna like, add some warmth and dimension to my forehead just like so 
and then I want to bronze up those cheekbones and I'm gonna go off camera finish off my eyes and then I will be right back all right you guys and now I'm back um, what do you think I have some very like not dramatic lashes on but I just wanted to tell Lenke's lashes these one right here thank you so much for sending me these I have bought them maybe half a year ago I have been using them for my every day because they have like a very nice outer corner which makes your eye like look it just makes they just make your eyes look so good they're so lightweight and you barely feel them when you applied them like the right way yeah i just reviewed them and said like they're very nice and they seen me on my instagram and then they told me they was gonna send me a gift and they just sent me for free those lashes thank you so much and now I just want to put on some highlighter and I thought I would use the strobe highlighter from Makeup Revolution that has like a greenish reflect. It looks like so. It is really light. Just like so. No blush. You can put on some blush lips or whatever. I only use my Carmack. I would definitely set my face with the MAC. Use any setting spray that you want to. Give it like a good spritz. And that is it for the final look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you made it to the end of the video. If you did, thank you so much. Also, thank you for everybody who subscribed to me. Who would have thought? Thank you so much for watching. And I hope I see you in the next one. Bye.